In this particular example, I'm going to create my first assignment uh, for an upcoming uh, exam and reviewing for that exam. So you'll notice here on the left-hand side of my course, I have the ability to go ahead and select Assignments. And you'll notice that uh, I have the ability to add assignments to either a particular assignment category, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in the course when we set up our gradebook, um, or simply um, add an assignment to an existing uh, assignments category. So I'm going to go ahead and select the plus button, and I uh, know that this is an assignment that I want to appear on my student's calendar. So I'm going to say uh, an action verb, uh, study for unit one American Revolution exam. This exam is going to be on a Friday the 15th, so I'm going to have students uh, prepare by Thursday evening. And I'm going to uh, suggest that I use the more options because I'm going to actually put some detailed information about what I want students to be able to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click more options. I'm going to paste in uh, the fact that I want students uh, that this test will be uh, Friday. Um, tutorial review uh, when that's available this week. And then finally, um, I'm going to suggest that students can download a review sheet. Now, it's a review sheet that I've prepared in Microsoft Word, and so you may remember from an earlier uh, video that you can insert content into the page by selecting the Files menu. And if this is not a Google Doc, this is something that I've actually stored, I can go ahead and upload a new file. I have my uh, unit exam review that I'm going to go ahead and choose. I'm going to choose to upload it. Once it finishes uploading, you'll notice that in Canvas, it will automatically place the link to uh, that document. Now, I don't have any plan to grade my students' uh, review of this, so I'm going to go ahead and change to the display grade as a percentage to not graded. And I'm going to go ahead and assign this to everyone. But instead of at 12 a.m., I'm going to go ahead and say 10 p.m. so that students uh, know that I'm hoping that they'll be long asleep um, by 10 p.m. that evening. And then finally, I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Publish. What will happen is um, I will have my assignment located here in my teacher section. And again, when I select Assignments, I'll see all the assignments I've created to date uh, and the due date. But what I'm about to do now is I'm going to switch into what it might look like from the student perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, as a student, I've switched into um, my student view. I can tell this because I'm in my student view. And then when I select the calendar in the agenda view, I can see I have my first assignment, a study for Unit 1, the American Revolution exam. When I select on this, um, I'll see the details of um, um, what I'm expected to do and I can download the review sheet as well. And that is how to create an assignment. In subsequent videos we'll talk about different assignment types and options uh, and how to uh, create assignments with differentiated due dates for different sections of a course.